Good morning! How are you today, my smart students? I hope you're doing well. It's math class and today I am very excited because we have a new lesson. In the previous lessons, we have learned how to tell the time to the hour. And today, we're going to learn how to tell time to the half hour. That's why, everyone, I want you to be focused and also listen carefully to me because the lesson is not that hard, but you need to understand what does time to the half hour mean. Before starting the lesson, I want you first to get your math book because we're going to use it and also to read the day and date. So everyone, what is the day and what is the date? Who's going to help me today and read it? Me! Can you read the day and date? Sure! The day is Thursday and the date is May 7, 2020. Wow! So it's weekend time! That's great! So everyone, you can enjoy your time tomorrow and after tomorrow! So everyone, before starting the lesson, let's do some actions and get energy! So everyone, put your hands in the air, clap your hands five times and say, it's weekend! Let's do it. Clap your hands. One, two, three, four, five. It's weekend. Well done, everyone. So I want you to look over here and to tell me what can you see. I can see two clocks. One digital and one analog. Well done. So this is the analog clock and this is the digital clock. So everyone, look at the analog clock and digital clock again and you will see something different from what we have learned before. So here's the hour and here's the minute, right? But in the lesson that we have learned before, we used to write zero minutes, right? two zeros but now there is something different so let's learn and explore how to tell time to the half hour and why do we write here 30 instead of zeros and also if you look at the analog clock you can see that the long hand okay which points to the uh, minutes is pointing to number six right why before we have learned that the or we have seen that the long hand was pointing to 12 so what happened that's what we are going to learn today so are you ready to learn new things today yes so let's get started so everyone, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to tell and write time to the nearest half hour. Okay, and here we go, mental math time. So everyone, listen carefully. Do you remember that, um, or do you remember what does a fact family mean? Yeah, we have learned this in the previous lessons. Okay, so look at the, look at the triangle over here. So what should I do with all these numbers? I have here three numbers and I need your help. What shall I do? You shall do an equation like 7 plus 3. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Okay, 7 plus 3 equals 10. 10. And then? 3 plus 7 equals 10. Okay, wow, that's so easy. Now you'll do 10 minus 7 equals 3. 10 minus 7 equals 3. So why did they write 10 first? 
Because 10 is bigger than 7. And in the subtraction, I need to write the first or the big number first. First, before the small number. Well done. And after that, what shall I do? 7 minus... Uh oh, there's oh. something wrong. What shall I do? What shall I do? Ten well minus done. three Ten. equals seven. Ten minus three equals seven. Wow, okay, so I can see. So we use these numbers here. So first we said 7 plus 3 equal 10 and 3 plus 7 equal 10, right? And then we said 10 minus 3 equal 7 and 10 minus 7 equal 3. Wow! So here we go, the problem of the day and I need your help. I have a problem. So who's going to help me to solve the problem? Me. So we have steps to follow. You need to understand and to underline um, what else, plan and check, right? So everyone, we need to read uh, the problem carefully. Try to underline what do you need to find and then try to solve the problem. So I need your help. Let's read it together. Um, I feel confused and I need your help. So let's read it together because I can see two analog clocks over here. So let's read the question together. A softball game starts at 6 o'clock. Okay, so a softball game starts at 6 o'clock. Draw the correct hand on the yellow clock. Okay, so let's go to the yellow clock and draw the hand. hand. So remember, it's 6 o'clock, 0 minutes. It means the short one will point to 6. And the long one will point to 12. Okay, so this is the start time. Well done. Let's read the second part of the question. The game lasts three hours. What time does the game end? Draw the correct hands on the green clock. Oh my god, so the game lasts three hours? So three hours after six. Mm, so what we're going to do is to count. To count three hours after six. Wow, that's easy. So everyone, let's look over here and count three hours after six. So let's count. One, two, sorry, at six, okay, now seven, eight, nine. So three hours, which is the seven, eight, nine. So the time will be nine. So let's draw it over here. This is the short hand and this is the long hand. Okay, so everyone, this is the end time. So the game starts at 6 and then it ends at 9. Yeah, because it, the game lasts 3 hours. 1, 2, 3 hours. So the time is 9 o'clock okay everyone zero minutes and now we can start our lesson or let me say we can talk about time to the half hour we are done with the mental math and we solved the problem of the day so what I want you to do everyone is to watch the videos by the way you can find the two videos in the description below click on them and watch the videos so everyone I think you collected some information about time to the half hour so let's talk about 
time to the half hour and we can say also half past we can say half past so everyone when I say half what is the first thing that will come to your mind let me give you an example you have that pizza big pizza and you want to share it with your cousin so what are you going to do you're gonna cut the pizza into two halves here is the pizza oh it looks yummy yeah it looks very yummy so let's cut the pizza into two halves so what we're going to do is to cut the pizza okay into two halves everyone can you see that the pizza looks like mm, like an analog clock right right so everyone I cut the pizza into two halves this is the first half and this is the second half, half okay so you know what does the word half mean yes well done and we're gonna use the word half to tell time to the half hour so everyone I'm gonna keep this here but I'm gonna make it move over here so I'm gonna move it to this side okay and I'll bring something else so everyone what do you see I see a clock analog clock and can you see that the analog clock looks like a pizza yeah it does look like a pizza both of them are shaped like a circle exactly so everyone as I said to you before that if we need to cut the pizza into two halves we need to draw a, a line in the middle in the middle as you can see okay everyone later later on I'm gonna explain to you why did I use this example to teach you how to tell time to the half hour well done so everyone as you know the short hand points to the hours and the long hand points to the minutes okay everyone okay so here everyone as you can see that the short hand is between number eight and nine so what does this mean so this one will let you feel confused okay and if you look over here look at um, the minutes hand the minutes hand is in the middle of the clock in the middle of the clock exactly as same as the pizza it means the minutes hand cut the clock into two halves okay everyone so the minutes hand move halfway around the clock as you can see so the minutes hand move or as you can as as you know the minutes hand will start moving from where from here from zero minutes and it will keep going all around the clock till it gets zero minutes again but as you can see here the the minutes hand stopped here stopped in the middle of the clock clock so halfway around 
and here the shorthand is between 8 and 9 but if someone will ask you about the time what you are going to say is it's 8 8, eight because look at the shorthand is not reaching 9 yet it's going from 8 it's going from 8 so it's still 8 o'clock so the time will be 9 when the our hand points at it points at number 9, nine. so in this case we're going to write half past half eight. past 8 so it's half past 8 half so when you see the short sorry when you see the long hands point to uh, to number 6 and it's in the middle of the clock it means half you're going to write half past and eight. then you will look at the short you're going to look at the short one or let me say the hour hand and you will find that the hour hand is between 8 and 9 but why do we write 8 because the short hand still not reaching number 9 so that's why it's half past 8 so that's why everyone I showed you the pizza over here to know that or to know what does the word half mean so okay everyone i want you now to use your math book and open page 599 so open page 599 write the day and date so i know everyone some of you still feel confused about how to tell time to the half hour but don't worry at all because uh, next week we're gonna uh, study more about time to the half hour we're gonna take two lessons more about this topic okay so everyone I want you now to look at the picture over here and to tell me what do you see I can see a clock a digital clock yes it's not a digital clock it's an analog clock well done it's an analog clock you need to be careful there is difference between the analog clock and the digital clock miss Muna. yeah can i say to you the difference the differences between analog clocks and digital clocks yes you can can you tell us about the difference between the analog clock this is the analog clock and the digital clock Yes, the analog clock uses hands to show time, while the digital clock uses digits to show time. Okay, everyone, remember, this is the analog clock and this is the digital clock. clock. Thank you for helping. So, everyone, please don't forget to open page 599. So, everyone, look at the two hands. Okay, so the long one or the minutes hand is pointing to number six right it's right. in the middle of the clock. clock okay so the the long hand stopped in the middle of the way it's not going all around the clock so it's half way around okay while the short one is not pointing to five and also not pointing to six it's between five and six it's between five and six so what shall i do in this case i don't know because the short hand is not pointing to five and also not pointing to six so how can i tell the time i feel confused but i'm going to tell you something see the short hand is coming from number five and stopped in the middle of the way right so it's five o'clock because it's not reaching six yet 
So the time will be half past five. Okay, half past five. And if we use the digital clock, we're going to write it this way. We're going to write five thirty. Okay, so everyone, when the short hand here, as you can see, stop in the middle of the way or between two numbers, you go to the first or you read the first number, okay? And here, look at the long hand, okay? The long hand, when the long hand points to number six, you need to read the time in this way. You will say half past. Okay, and then you will read the hour or in the digital clock you are going to write 30. So, 30 minutes. Okay, everyone. So, everyone, open page 600. As you can see, there are uh, three analog clocks and three digital clocks. So, I'm going to write the time in two ways. So let's get started everyone. So I want you to look at the first one. Look at the short one first. So the short one is going from 9 to 10, right? But, but it's in the middle. It's in the middle and it's coming from 9. So we're going to read the first number first. So it's 9. Okay. And then when the, sh when the long hand points to... Uh, number six, it means 30 minutes. Okay, everyone. Now, let's move to... Okay, so here it was, sorry, 9, 30. Let's move to this one. Okay, so look at the short one first, or the hour hand first, and as you can see, it's in the middle. Okay, it's, it's between one and two. Between one and two. Is it two? No. Not yet. It's coming from one and going to two, but it's not two yet. So we're going to read the first number. It's one. Third. Third. Let's do the last one. Read the short hand first. So the short hand points to, or the short hand is in the middle of six, six and seven. seven it's between six and seven so it's it's um you know moving from six and going to seven but it's not seven first so we're going to read the first number remember so it's six thirty well done here we go complete each sentence okay look at the Words over here, hour hand, analog clock, minute hand, and digital clock. Okay, and space has an hour and a minute hand. So, the analog clock, everyone, the analog clock, okay, has two hands. The hour and the minute. So, this answer is... You can write the answer over here. That points to the hour on an analog clock. So everyone, the hour hand, okay? The hour hand points to the hour on an analog clock. Finally, a uses number on a screen to show time. So, Digital clock, everyone. Digital clock uses number on a screen to show time. So, everyone, the answers are... Let's write the answers. Here we go. Anna log clock. And here, our hand, 
and finally digital clock okay so we are done and remember we still have two lessons about time to the half hour so don't be worried and we are gonna learn more about it in the coming week so everyone have a nice weekend enjoy your time bye everyone i love you